So if there's actual pain or physical discomfort that's occurring? Uh, is there all the time? No. Then think about it when it isn't there. When there is pain in your body, that's not the time to deal with the pain because every single time, have any of you ever had pain? <laughs> every single time, well, it's just exaggerated resistance, but every time you feel pain, it means that there's strong resistance going on. And haven't you noticed that your attention to it always makes it worse? Talk to somebody about it, describe how it feels and watch it get more. <laughs> pinpoint where it is now you could relax into it you could acknowledge that you are a cellular being and that the cells of your body who want a direct route to source energy and who have it if you weren't blocking it with the thoughts that are giving you the pain you see your pain isn't because the cells can't get what they want your pain is because you are focused in contradiction to the energy that the cells are asking for it's like this cells want more energy. So cells ask for more energy, more energy goes to the cells, but you're not used to that increased energy because you haven't been allowing it. We're not just speaking about you, most of you. And so when the cells really turn on the juice and say, this is what we need and source who always answers the unresisted cells, but then the worrisome thoughts that you've been practicing stand in the way. And that's what constitutes pain. So when you feel pain, you could say, ah, helps on the way. You could say, ah, my cells are asking and my cells are receiving. They're eking out the benefit that they are asking for through the path of great resistance that I've put in their way. <laughs> and as I relax, I can say, you will actually feel the lightening of your resistance and the ease of the request and flow. We know that once unwanted manifests, that it's more difficult to focus on other things, but it's only because your orientation that you've picked up along this physical trail says, find a problem and fix it. And we want you to begin speaking a different mantra instead of find a problem and fix it, say, identify a problem, which causes me to identify a desire, which causes source to answer the desire. And I've just got to line up with source. So your work has nothing to do with the problem. Your work is to line up with source. Can you feel the difference? Find a problem, line up with source, find a problem, line up with source. Not find a problem, focus on the problem, hinder myself from receiving source. That's the long, hard way around it. Find a problem, line up with source. Ask a question, line up with source. See something I don't like, line up with source. Yeah. Wow. May. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. May I ask you one more yeah. question? I've heard you say in the past that there's nothing Before searing. you go further, we want yes. to play with you just a little bit. Okay. You won't forget that question. No, I won't. Here's something really worth thinking about. You're just going to love this. Well, no, you're not going to like it at all, but we're just <laughs> going to, we're just going to love it. the timing of this is about that corner. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? In other words, you're zeroing in on the turning point. <laughs> we just want you to know that, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? It's like you've been pre-programming yourselves. A lot of you do it. You pre-program yourself for stuff. What do you mean? Can you say that more in a different way? We mean that we think it is interesting, fascinating and logical that you would begin this discussion by telling us where you are sequentially in the evolution and devolution of life experience. And we just don't want it to be missed by you that healthy, 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 turn the corner, not healthy. You see what we're getting at? So just don't turn that corner because 
it has nothing to do with your age the statistics that are out there have nothing to do with you but what you observe and what you practice thinking about therefore what you believe because a belief is just a thought you keep thinking have everything to do with your point of attraction you see what we're getting at so there's no urgency here we don't want to alarm you in any way in fact we want to delarm you we want to unlarm you <laughs> we want you to just relax and acknowledge that th this is a room full a world full of people who are just recently in the scope of their life experience learning to be deliberate creators and it's just freakishly odd to you we know that it is for you to take the orientation that you've been living which you've learned from others and through your observation and know or hold the beliefs that you hold based upon the thoughts that you've been thinking because when you think something law of attraction gives you evidence of it Esther argued with us in the beginning about that but Abraham it's true and we would say to her again and again and again there are many things that are true that you don't want don't focus on those why take something that someone else made true from their attention to it and now make it true for you because of your attention to it if you could put the first thought as the premise of your experience I create my own reality I create my own reality the thoughts that I think attract evidence of the thoughts that I think period the thoughts that I think attract evidence of the thoughts that I think period it's not an indictment of my morality It's not an indictment of my ability it's not an indictment of my worthiness it's just an indication an indication of a vibrational pattern that I have full ability to change and then you come to a gathering like this and we say but don't worry about it you're not going to change it all at once there is momentum that is underway that is playing itself out to some extent just water the momentum down a little every day just slow that momentum by being mindful of what you say and being mindful of why you say it and this is one piece that we would like to stick in here because this is an important you are a room full of deliberate creators on the leading edge and we are talking about this in ways that we have not been talking about it as precisely before so as you are accepting that you create your own reality make it a mood based creation more than a thought based creation for just a little while care about your mood and try to choose your thoughts to affect your mood because your mood is the best way of defining or describing what your vibrational climate is and accept no evidence other than your mood as important that's really good <laughs> accept no evidence other than your mood because your mood is more fluid more changeable more moldable more quickly so you create your own reality let's find other words you are the architect of your mood you are in control of your mood your mood means everything how you feel emotionally really matters because how you feel emotionally is your vibrational indicator it's easy to feel good it's easy to create a mood it's easier first thing in the morning it's easier the longer you do it it's easier the more mindful you are of it mood creation is the easiest thing I've ever done creating a mood is much more simple than learning computer programs <laughs> mood creation is intuitive mood creation is something that every part of me wants to be a part of um, creating my mood is my first order of business uh, being aware of my mood is really important sustaining a good mood is the smartest thing I ever do guiding myself softly away from a bad mood is really a wise thing to do being mindful of my mood is my most important work 
my mood is easily modified but not necessarily all at once my mood is a progressive thing that I can accomplish over time I don't have to switch it out this red hot minute but I can with a little bit of attention effort is counterproductive to mood improvement effort is counterproductive trying too hard will just amplify whatever mood I've got going on ease and flow relative to mood starting at the beginning starting with subjects that are easy to feel good about staying off subjects that I know push my buttons just for a while eventually eventually I will we're speaking on behalf of you eventually I will be able to address any subject in my conscious library and sustain my good mood but for now I'm sustaining my good mood in the way that is easiest for me to do it so when we began talking with Esther about this some years ago she found handfuls of things that always put her in a good mood Kate was a baby at the time granddaughter Kate easy just think about Kate good mood swept over her she just couldn't sustain thoughts about Kate and not improve her vibrational frequency it was not possible treehouse oh the treehouse treehouse big timbers brought in from Oregon 30 foot poles six of them brought in by a big crane put into the ground and then a six-sided base built and then up 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 it went and then Esther said I will just climb the tree to get up there and Jerry said we'll make stairs <laughs> And then they got to the second floor and they were high above the treetops and they said we could go higher the poles are still extending so they built another level up there and then Esther said I'll just climb up on a rope and Jerry said we'll build stairs <laughs> and then the switchback came so the treehouse stands not possible for Esther to think about those happy men who built the treehouse took them longer than it takes to build more houses because it was fun they never wanted to end it went on and on and on and on and on the process of the treehouse the idea of the treehouse the construction of the treehouse the evolution of the treehouse the being in the treehouse the guests in the treehouse in other words not possible to think about that treehouse without affecting a mood a point of attraction that brings benefit and think about the benefit that that mood brings it's a feeling of invincibility it's a feeling of expansion it's a feeling of whimsy it's a feeling of fun she hasn't yet installed the zip line <laughs> Jerry didn't want it but he's gone <laughs> <laughs> well actually he's not gone <laughs> a zip line seems like a good idea to him now too in other words it's a mood of prosperity it was an expensive proposition it's a feeling of doing something for the fun of doing it there was no practical association with it it's just doing something for the fun of doing doing something for the exhilaration of doing it so as you find things like that that are just rich we could talk about nothing other than that treehouse all day long and it would be the best discussion that we ever had because of the amplification of the vibration and the benefit of accomplishing that mood within you. You see what we're getting at? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes.